And it's aller allergy season if you haven't been sneezing enough already. And uh, it turns out one of the simple ways to protect yourself in your home is to change the filter in your heating and air conditioning. That's units. right. Those filters get very dusty yeah. Yeah, yeah, in, in these windy conditions. Zach Summer standing by this morning at Deco Heating and Air in downtown Kennewick for this week's uh, Wake Up Your Home. Zach, uh, how often should uh, I change my filter in my air conditioning? Well, good morning, Kevin and Claire. You know, it really is going to depend on the type of filter that you have, but a good rule of thumb is to check your filter at least once a month around the time that you're about to pay those utility bills. I'm here with Ken Day, uh, the general manager over at Dayco Heating and Air in Kenwick. Thanks for being with us this morning, Ken. So first off, tell us how exactly do these allergens get into your home? Well, the allergies come in through depressurization of the home. Um, if your ductwork's leaking, the air is getting pumped out, so air's got to be pumped back in. It's bringing in the dirty air. It's coming from the attics, coming from outside, coming from the crawl space. That's how you get all those dirts and light beams that are in the home. And you, we have a couple of visuals of some dirty filters. I mean, this is, we got all kind of stuff on this. And about how old of a filter is this? This filter was a month old. Um, this stuff has hair, uh, probably some pet dandruff, some uh, pollens, dust, dirt, uh, who knows what's on it. And just to kind of give you a perspective as to how dirty this is, that's what the filter is supposed to actually look like. And when it comes to the type of filters that you have in your home, the, the efficiency of the filter, the cost, kind of give us an idea of what we're talking about. There. Well, basically, this is the standard filter most people use in their home. You can pick up this at any hardware store. Um, this filter, though, is a, what they con consider a MERV-8. And... Basically, still get 95% of the particles still go through this filter. So it only catches 5% of the stuff that comes, uh, comes through the furnace system. Gotcha. So this only catches 5%. Yes, sir. Uh, but there are other options that can catch more, right? Yes, yes. We have the bigger filters. Um, these are big 5-inch filters that can go into the system. Now, this one's been used in a home that was uh, by a sm somebody that smokes. Uh, that's how it's all yellow. See on the back side, it's, it's white. So this one catches the uh, smoke, the cigarette smoke, catches more particles. This one's basically 50% uh, efficient. And so in other words, 50% of the stuff that goes through gets caught. The rest, the remainder of the stuff goes on through. Gotcha. And again, that's, that's a dirty one. This is a clean one. So you can see the contrast there. And you know, Ken, is, is this something that, you know, you can do on your own or do you need the experts to kind of do this for you? You can change the filters on your own. They're located at the furnace uh, most of the time. Some are located in the grills. Uh, but by doing this monthly, you can um, keep the house a little bit cleaner. Gotcha. And you, you were telling me, you know, if you see your utility bill spiking, a good... Good rule of thumb. Yeah. Good rule of thumb. You see that. your power bill go up, it's time to go check that filter. There you go. Um, we like to have people just change their filters when it's time to uh, pay that utility bill. Gotcha. And, and of course, you can find these filters at Deco Heating and Air, but probably any other home improvement store, right? Yeah. The, uh, Deco specializes in the uh, special sizes. So if it's one that's hard to find, we usually can get it for you. But pretty much the rest of the places you can buy them at the Home Depots and Lowe's and such. Uh, they carry all of them. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks for being with us this morning, Ken. We're live in Kennewick, Zach Summers, NBC, right now. Kind of amazing to see the change, right? Yeah. Especially on with the, the smoker. Yeah, I didn't know how much the you know the yeah. difference was. That, that, that doesn't make you want to stop. Yeah.